This week has seen the deadline to register to vote for the first ever police and crime commissioners elections, which will take place on November the 15th. The commissioners will replace existing police authorities. They will be able to set the strategic priorities for their local police forces and agree budgets. But some organisations are warning of a low turnout for the autumn elections. So why vote? Well, Desi Download reporter Ruchi Tandon put that very question to Joe Warmington. She is the CEO of Equality's think tank BRAP. They've been doing some work to raise awareness of the forthcoming elections. I think it's a really difficult one to convince people to do because there's so many things happening at the moment and all we hear in the news is about austerity and about how um, the the economy is up or down or whatever. And I think people's primary focus is about, you know, how are they going to put food on the table, how are they going to keep the households going. But actually, being able to know that there are people out there who, when you ring the phone, um, the number will come out, will support you when you have an incident, will um, treat you appropriately, will help to keep your neighbourhood crime-free. It's really an important security blanket. So even though I think there are lots of things that are at the forefront of people's minds, Our whole lives are affected by security and security issues and how we feel about the way, you know, our our safety walking down the street or whatever. So it is really essential. It's critical, I think. What about when it comes to BME communities, black and Asian communities? Do you think there's a slightly different story there in terms of perhaps how some people view the police and that could affect engagement with this process? It's a, it's a, there is a different story, but it's an old story. And I, and I actually think the story is so old that it needs to be changed. It's like a broken record. Um, the, the incidences of engagement with the police that are negative for black and minority ethnic people are kind of too numerous to mention. You know, stop and search figures alone. I know people keep talking about stop and search. And I think there is an assumption that if you are stopped and searched, then you must, you know, you've got nothing to worry about if you're if you're not guilty. But actually, that's that's not the point, really. Um, I mean, and I don't think people actually understand that being criminalised because of the colour of your skin is actually the point that that the stop and search is trying to get behind. Now, if you're if you're from a black and minority ethnic community you're in a position where you're more likely, 28 times, I think, more likely to be stopped and searched. Now, if you want to do something about that, if you want to have a relationship with the police which is of equal respect and standard to other communities, then this is the time, really, to think about who you're voting for. When I'm arrested, or if I'm arrested, (laughs) I don't want to be thinking, actually, am I going to get beaten up here? Am I going to be put in a cell? Am I my rights going to be eroded? But actually, that stuff seems to happen to black and minority ethnic people with more frequency and um, the, than they do to, with white ethnic groups. Now, there is something about having trust in the services that are there to protect us, and it doesn't matter whether that service is a police or the health service, etc. We should have the same entitlement to that surface as other groups. So, Joy, you've talked about all these issues, but yet you're, you're saying, you know, people need to get out there, they need to register to vote. This, this kind of... I, I, yeah, I mean, it's a really good question, and it's, um, it's ironic in a way. I mean, it's predicted for this um, particular issue that it's going to be a really low voter turnout. And I don't know what we can do to help people to believe in the vote again. I mean, there seems to be um, a lot more emphasis on scrutiny. And this particular um, initiative, the Police and Crime Commissioners Initiative, is, is based on this idea of scrutiny and accountability. But unless we can really show evidence about where that's going to work and start to hold people to account, I think we're in a we're in a sort of cyclic situation. You know, we need to we need to prove this can work for us to believe it can work. And the only way we can believe it's going to work is if we get out there and and vote so we can have the opportunity to make it work. So I don't know. It's a you know, if my father was here, he would be doing. People, you know, black people didn't get the vote, da 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 he'd be doing that rousing speech. And there is something in that, you know, women haven't always had the vote. People have died in in sort of recent times, you know, Egypt, etc., because 
they want the freedom of, of democracy, something that we do take for granted. And if you need more details on the election and how to vote, then you can go to the police elections website about myvote.co.uk slash PCC. You will also find links to details about the candidates standing in this area. And you can also visit the BBC's own site, which is bbc.co.uk slash police elections.